today, we are delving deeply into the murky world of celebrity yachting, covering everything from what it really means to become a yacht girl to a blind item by an unidentified actress and former yacht girl that disclosed frightening details. There's an unspoken rule. By getting on board a yacht, you're accepting the yacht owner's terms and conditions. That sounds rather dark and ominous, especially for something many would consider nothing more than a party. The truth is that one of the rich and famous world's best kept secrets is what it means to become a yacht girl. You probably get the drift, but just in case, here's the definition. When you agree to become a yacht girl, you're expected to perform certain things for the owner of the yacht and their friends in exchange for favors. It's made to seem like a give and take situation where both parties benefit from the arrangement. But the truth is that these women are being exploited. Yachting was exposed in 2013 when The Hollywood Reporter ran a story on the concept during the Cannes Film Festival. A man who owned a modeling agency came under the spotlight after it was reported that he had been recruiting some models as yacht girls. At the time, there were about 40-some yachts lined up at the bay, and each yacht had around 10 girls on board. The man was under investigation and arrested shortly afterward for trafficking, and that's when he started to talk. According to Nahas, the man who owned the agency, the yachts were owned by rich and famous businessmen and politicians and the yacht girls ranged from models to social media influencers and even well-established actresses. Nahas claimed that it was a no harm, no foul situation because the women would sometimes ask to become yacht girls themselves. This raises the question actually, why would the rich and famous agree to something like this? For some context, Meghan Markle was once rumored to be a yacht girl. This came at a time when she had a well-established career as an actress and was making way more than a decent living to live comfortably. So what would make someone who already has money do something that's considered illegal for more money? Truthfully, it's not all about money. Yes, the women are paid generously for their time on the yacht and the money goes up with what they do and their celebrity status, but they don't get on that boat just for the money. You need to remember that the men who own the yachts are rich and powerful with many, many connections. According to The Hollywood Reporter, yachting happens at a disturbing frequency, especially during the Cannes Film Festival. Ironically, one of the best ways to spot someone who's benefited from the arrangement is to look at all the people attending the event. You'll often notice women who've had no prior major releases being welcomed at one of the world's most coveted events. Another thing to remember is that you don't just get to walk the red carpet at Cannes unless you're invited. Rich and powerful men are often given several invites, which they distribute amongst yacht girls. The Hollywood Reporter's expose had everyone looking at Irina Shayk, who made her Hollywood debut in Hercules, a film that bombed mostly because of Irina's acting. The thing is, even though she was a well-established model, she had no acting history when she was cast for the big budget production. Something doesn't add up, right? It all came to light with Emily Ratajkowski's book. In 2021, the model and former actress released her book titled My Body, which contained detailed chapters on yachting. According to Emily, the only way to guarantee success as a struggling actress wanting to make it into the industry was by agreeing to become a yacht girl. While Emily didn't drop any names, a lot of people started pointing fingers at the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman. Here's the deal. MBS owns the Serene, a $500 million yacht, which features two helipads, a private spa, 10 rooms, and several other amenities. His yacht is a regular visitor at Cannes, and everyone's starting to suspect the reason. Emily wasn't afraid to give the world the deep and disturbing secrets about celebrity yachting, but many believe that women like her are still keeping quiet, namely Hailey Bieber and Bella Hadid. In several of Emily's pictures on board yachts, she's seen partying with Hailey and Bella. Now again, all three women weren't ever considered nobodies, but people are starting to piece together their meteoric rise to fame. It's obvious that not everyone can come up and name the people who own these yachts or frequent them. Still, Emily wasn't afraid to drop one name, Joe Lowe. 
You might know his name because of his criminal status. Joe Lo is a former Malaysian businessman and now international fugitive who's wanted for embezzling $45 billion from the One Malaysian Development Bayhad scheme. But if you look at a picture of him, you might remember him from somewhere else particularly as the man who was seen partying with Paris Hilton in 2019 and with Kim Kardashian at a Vegas party in 2015. Let's talk about Kim now for a minute. The Kardashian-Jenner clan's always been under fire for their involvement in Hollywood scandals. And when Joe Lowe became a fugitive, Kim was one of the first people the FBI picked up. She revealed that while she didn't know where he was, she did accept $250,000 from him after a weekend of partying in Vegas. Kim was famously seen getting into a white Ferrari parked near Joe Lowe's hotel at the time. Speaking of which, her rise to fame has always been controversial, and that's putting it lightly. Before she broke into mainstream stardom, she was seen partying on yachts and flying to countries in the Middle East. You probably remember the protests that followed after her Millions of Milkshakes brand endorsement. A 2015 blind item, however, revealed that yachting goes way deeper and younger. While Kim's involvement in yachting doesn't come as a complete surprise, her sister Kylie Jenner does. That's mostly because by the time Kylie arrived on the scene, the Kardashian-Jenner clan was already making millions. So Kylie really didn't need either the money or the connections. What's interesting still is the fact that she rented out Joe Lowe's boat for her 22nd birthday. This had everyone thinking back to 2015 when Kylie was still 17 and the fact that she was making appearances on several yachts. Everyone pointed the finger at her mother, Kris Jenner, for introducing her underage daughter to the dark and twisted world, all because of greed. Kylie didn't need the money or the fame. She already had it. Still, it wasn't enough for her and Kris. We're now entering conspiracy theory territory but many believe that a water company is a front for yachting advertisements. One look at 138 Water's Instagram, and you'll realize that they advertise the person holding the water a lot more than the bottled water itself. If anything, their entire Instagram is a collection of different women with the water bottle tucked away in the background. Reading the captions makes it a lot more obvious, especially since they talk about the model in the picture with only a brief sentence about the product. This has people questioning what the real product is. You need to remember that while yachting might not be known for its deep, dark connotations, women have been posting pictures of themselves on yachts for a long time. Why is that? You see, those are advertisements, at least according to blind items on the internet. One such blind item pointed the finger at Meghan Markle and claimed that she met Prince Harry at one of these events. The blind item went on to claim that Meghan used to post scantily dressed pictures of herself before marrying into the British royal family as a $30,000 weekend yacht party advertisement. It just keeps getting crazier and crazier, right? Take a seat, because we still have to see what Vanessa Lenghi's had to say. Well, allegedly, obviously. A pretty famous blind item posted on the internet that chronicled the life of yacht girls came in 2016 when an anonymous struggling actress, who many believe was Vanessa, detailed why the rich and famous turned to yachting. The actress wrote that she was set to star in a sitcom sometime in 2016, but the show was abruptly canceled. That's when she started talking to one of her co-stars, who many believe was either Naya Rivera or Heather Morris, and she introduced her to yachting. According to the anonymous actress, she'd once been making a decent amount of money by starring in a show that had abruptly been canceled after a bad season. This left her struggling and she was desperate for money and more work. The actress's co-star suggested they meet up with a woman who was known for sending models and actresses to Europe to become yacht girls. The anonymous poster claimed that her co-star made it sound super easy and super legal. The co-star claimed that yachting had received a bad rep, but in reality, it was all partying with no trafficking happening at all. The actress was paid $25,000 up front for a week of partying in Europe, but claimed that she hated every second of it. She said that it was a three hour experience of being groped and harassed every single day. There were about 10 models on day one, 
and the favorites would be the ones to stay and actually party, while the rest were sent back to wait till needed at a hotel. The anonymous actress claimed that several women quit on day two, while at least one of them overdosed. So, from a blind item by an anonymous actress and former yacht girl that revealed scary details to what it really means to become a yacht girl, that was everything on the secret world of celebrity yachting.